Once I have this mound cleared of snow, setting up the tent is a cinch. First thing I want to do is put down the insulated pad that will keep this tent so much warmer throughout the winter. These pads are super interesting. It's like a double layered uh, pad with like a bit of insulation in the middle. That's all it is. And it's so effective. It's like, it changes camping for sure. I'm really competing with daylight now. The sun's gone. And uh, this is just something I do. I come out later in the day and test myself, getting set up nice and fast, competing against darkness, competing against cold weather, and uh, it's, it's enjoyable, it really is. <laughs> I almost went. So what I have right here is the center of the tent. Push it up and it is over. The tent is set up. If I can't, oh yeah, there it is. She's set up, good to go. Awesome, amazing. Really looking forward, really looking forward to spending some quality time in this tent this winter. I've got these stakes with screws on the end. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down through the, through the platform and uh, pull my tent tight. And the beauty is I can just run it in like this. Get her started anyway. So, I didn't bring any sliders with me so I could do guy ropes, but I have a little trick. So what I'm gonna do, just do a basic knot right here. And then I'm gonna pull it through my loop on the end of the stake. Love it. I'm gonna take this rope right here. I'm gonna make a knot with it in the middle. Fold your rope, right? 
you take it and you just make a knot, pull it through like that. And you have yourself a nice little loop here. And what I'm gonna do is I pull this through, I grab this loop and I'm nice and tight. This is the floor that comes with the tent. And this is the insulated pad that I put down. And what I like to do at the end of my camping, when I'm tearing down, is take the, uh, the floor that belongs to the tent off and I fold it up. And then I, it's easier, I find, to work with this tent with the floor off when I'm packing it up and when I'm opening it up. So right now I'm just zippering it in and it's gonna give me two layers. Right, I've got the double layer insulated. Then I've got this layer on top. It's a really thick material. And uh, it's gonna provide excellent uh, insulation this winter. my big stove better off to have the biggest stove possible for your tent if you ask me especially if you're gonna have it set up all winter long and I've got a fireproof mat right here so if this is your first time watching this channel I've got a, a buddy who used to have a tent in this spot on this platform he had a wall tent up for years similar to what I do with my other wall tent and uh, and so he's done with it and uh, now the platform I use it and uh, it's perfect for these tents because there's nothing better than camping on a really flat surface. So what I want to do is go outside, drop my pipe down through, and then I can insert it here. I just got to make sure I'm lined up a little bit first. to be. There. Excellent. I have some wood stashed here from last year. Should be nice and dry. Old school today. I'm gonna to use one of these extra flame fire starters and this will catch if you have it fluffy enough. And I just might right there. This one might be better. 
Go with this guy right there. Okay. There we go. Two strikes. And that's going in. Just like that. getting really hot in here so I'm gonna open the screen windows I think I'll open a few just to get a nice cross draft I'm gonna to have to take off my sweater and everything too what I want to do now is just have a nice early supper I'm gonna call it first supper <laughs> and then I'm gonna have a second supper Love these tents, man. Like, you cannot beat them. Yes, now I have a nice cross draft happening. I might open more, I don't know, but for right now, this feels great. And I gotta, I gotta lay her down. You also get these really nice pouches. I love these pouches. I have some of these pouches in my main tent and uh, they're just excellent. So simple enough, you've got double Velcro right here and it's really strong Velcro. Get it in there, it's really strong, but that's what you want. And then you seal it in that's not coming down. It's just not.
So for right now, I'm just gonna eat meat. <laughs> That's all I want. Fatty, juicy, crispy, tender, absolutely perfect. It's a 10. That steak right now is a 10. Decided to take a drive over to my other tent. I'm not too far away from my main tent. So I'm coming over to check it out. I can see that there are some animals here. You can see right there. Fresh tracks. Those are very fresh. Because that's in the snow that's been falling over the last hour or so. Maybe it's got a little home in here somewhere. So I can't see where those tracks go. Oh yeah, he's underneath. He's underneath. I wonder if he's underneath right now. Interesting. That could be his little home, whatever he is. Anybody know what those tracks are right there? They're very light tracks. They're not going down deep into the snow at all, just on that really fluffy top layer. Wow. He's under there. It's a beautiful minus 12 Celsius, 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to grab a couple of things from this tent to bring over to the other tent just for tonight and then I'll bring it back over here because I didn't have much space in my bog and I used up my whole entire bog and so I knew there was stuff here I could grab and then what I'll do is uh, I'll bring it back later and the next time I go to that other tent I'll just bring more supplies from home. It's minus 13 Celsius so right on the nose. 10 degrees Fahrenheit, so one degree colder in the tent. It's always colder in the tent, I find. I need this cot for the night. By the way, these are like really strong smelling um, wipes, you could say. They're very strong, almost toxic smelling. And uh, I have them left up so that way if there's any animals that try to get in, they're gonna smell this stuff and they're not gonna like it. So I've got a few later on here. I need some garbage bags, some toilet paper. I'll bring a couple of rolls. this big one so it can be my chopping block.
That's going to need some time to inflate, self-inflating. May take a while. But uh, I like those pads. They're really warm. I say it every time I set up a cot. You can put stuff underneath cots. And it just saves space. I'm going to take out my power station here and let it thaw out. It's probably too cold to actually operate and uh, I never camp without them. So I'll let it warm up and then I'll uh, be able to start using it for my batteries and my lights because I, I use battery powered lights and uh, the power station really helps with that. And this is my sleeping bag. And a little bit later, I'll take it out. But I really want this to inflate over time. So I'm not going to put this on top, this on top of the pad for a while yet. Because I feel like just the weight of it won't allow for this to inflate properly. I love these little headlamps, but boy oh boy, do they ever chew through batteries. Now, let's see if I can get this, there we go. Does not take long. So I came prepared, lots and lots of triple A's. I usually change every two or three trips. They just get too weak. It's not enjoyable. Oh yeah, way better. Seven thirty now, and I uh, I'm just gonna have a nice hot cup of tea, and then I'm gonna go outside and uh, do some work around this tent and uh, secure it because it's going to be up for three months and it's a really good test for it. Last year I tested one of these uh, RBM bear tents in this exact location and I let it stay up for it was a little bit longer it was like three and a half to four months and it did an amazing job it really did it stood up to the weather the extreme cold the winds the snow like a champion and so that was the uh, up5 and this is the uh, the five-man pentagon shaped tent and this is uh, a very bright tent it's uh, white, as you can see, and beige, and lovely. Sitting here with this cup of tea right now, out here like this. Mm. Man, you can't beat it. You cannot beat this. This is perfect to me, and I appreciate every second I'm out here. Sometimes I, I have to really like get myself up off the couch to come out here. And then once I start moving, man, once I start packing stuff up and I start putting stuff in the truck, oh man, the blood gets flowing. I can't wait to get out into the woods. What I'm really trying to do here is pack down the snow as much as possible with my snowshoes. It's a lot easier than shoveling. Walk around a few times, really flatten it out uh, as, as much as I can. And I have a feeling when I wake up in the morning, it'll almost be like concrete all the way around the tent. So yeah, that's why I brought the snowshoes. I knew I was going to be dealing with some pretty deep snow up here. And I just wanted to press it down all the way around this platform and get it nice and hard all the way around and then I'm gonna I'm gonna utilize some snow anchors and uh, 
really secure this tent. It's only been about 45 minutes to an hour since I've stepped on this and it's already getting nice and hard. So I decided to make slow anchors tonight. Because it'll just harden overnight. So I just use a piece of wood, nothing special, and uh, just knot it. There we go. He's good. Center it, drive it down into the snow. You can see how deep it is here. And I'm just gonna bury that thing nice and deep. And already it's tight. It's got a little loop right here, you can see. Exact same thing I did on the ground. And I can already pull that pretty tight. I'll just take it. I just pull my rope through and I just pull back against. So you pull it tight, hold it right here, you're good. Boom. Nice and tight. So this is a meal that was recommended by many of you. I asked you guys to share a meal where you just like throw a bunch of stuff in a pot and fry it. And one of the highly recommended meals was calabasa sausage. I think I'm pronouncing that right. With cabbage, onion, sometimes it was recommended I use bacon, or I use ground beef. It's gonna be so good. Oh, that's good. Oh my gosh. I should have put more cabbage in, I think. And maybe I should have put the cabbage in later. I don't know. It's delicious.
I can comfortably walk around in this tent when it's not super duper cold barefoot because of that insulated floor it feels great it's padded it just it feels really really nice I gotta say, I had a really, really, really comfortable camp in here last night. I'm not sure what the temperature is outside, but it can't be too cold. This has been by far the warmest winter I've ever experienced in all my years living in northern Canada, and I've never experienced it this warm. Like, we're in January, and the temperatures outside have just been glorious. Now, I would rather it was minus 45. Like, I want to have record-breaking cold instead of record-breaking warmth I'd much prefer that because I just enjoy it more I just enjoy that challenge so outside today I don't have a thermometer outside the tent but if I check I do have a pretty decent signal in this tent compared to my other tent it's only minus 12 feels like minus 18 with light snow anyway that's it for this video i'm gonna i don't need to really do much packing up which is great i'm gonna leave a lot of the stuff here that can stay here for those of you who are watching and made it to this point thank you so much it really does mean a lot to me that you watch to the end and those of you that comment and say i made it to the end thank you thank you very much and um if you haven't subscribed um it would be wonderful if you could subscribe i, I would love that and um I've said it before on this channel, like 80% of people who watch this channel aren't subs. So you're going to see me anyway, right? I'm going to be in your feed, even if you're not subscribed to me, but you watch my channel, you'll see me there. So yeah, if you just hit that sub button, uh, it just supports, right? It just supports and helps grow. And, and it really motivates me to keep going. Sometimes in this YouTube world, you can really want to break. And I'll probably take a couple of weekends here this winter where I'll just, you know, I'll just spend it not doing this um, and not putting out a video for the week. I'm, I'm going to need those breaks. But when I see my subs growing and the views growing, it's like, I don't want to. I just want to keep going. I just want to make, you know, I want to have a weekly video. It's really... Um, it's hard to describe it's it's like it drives me it does it drives me for sure um and uh and it's pleasant to have goals and to have dreams i love it i love working for something and and oftentimes it's a dream and when i go home and i'm thinking about camping at night before i go to bed Man, I can just get lost in ideas and thoughts and just imagining myself out here for a long time before I actually fall asleep. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm literally like dreaming of it and dreaming of, you know, doing more. And um, like I said, when, when I see the subs start, you know, continue to increase, it's just like, wow, I, I, I just want to do it even more i just do i just do so if you've subbed already thanks so much um and if you haven't i would i would love for you to sub it would it would really mean a lot and i'll keep chugging away that's my speech for this video thanks so much for watching i'll be back really soon